Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitup, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Aether 2 mod for Minecraft. And this is a pretty simple mod to install, and the Aether mod was really popular back when it came out, but it was for Minecraft like 1.2.5, and now they finally updated it. But what's the catch? Minecraft 1.5.1. So we're going to be have to doing a little bit more work to downgrade to Minecraft 1.5.1, and then install all of the mods on top of that. It's not as complicated as it sounds, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So, all the links will be in the description, so you don't have to worry about searching around. So, the first thing we're going to do is download all of this stuff we're going to need, and then we'll download the Minecraft 1.5.1.jar. And it's very important you're downgrading to Minecraft 1.5.1. I know that it's got this thing in bold, it's, it's like everywhere, it's saying you need to do this, and I don't know why they couldn't get it on 1.5.2. Maybe a, an update will be coming soon, but we're going to go ahead and do that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the actual Aether 2 mod. So this link right here will take you to this link, and you can go ahead and press download here. I've already got everything downloaded, so you don't have to wait for me to download it. And so you've got, download the Aether 2. Just make sure, yeah, you have to download the Aether 2. <laughs> make sure you download that. There are two links here, so just in case, you know, each one doesn't work, here you go. Then come up here and you have all these three links. You have Forge, Player API, and Player Render API. And download them all from these links. And they're very important. You install them in this order. It says right here, in order of Forge, first Player API, and Player Render API second. So make sure you kind of open these up and it, will, it should automatically download except for the Forge. The Player API and Player Render API, just click on the links and they will immediately download. I've got them all done so you don't have to wait for me to do them, but Download all of these. So you have Forge, Player API, and Player Render API, and that's that. So you have one, two, three, four things you're gonna need to download, except maybe five if you don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip. You're gonna need one of these two programs to open up these files, because when you download them, I'll show you here, they are zips, and you can't open them up unless you have a zip opening file, and especially WinRAR can open up Minecraft.jar, and you're going to need to be able to access this. 7-Zip can too. I'm going to be using WinRAR for this tutorial, but you can use 7-Zip as well. They are both free, except WinRAR will just keep asking you, hey, you want to buy it? Hey, you want to buy it? Download both of these, or one of them, actually. But make sure I'm sure you guys already have it done. You've, you've probably modded, it before, modded Minecraft before. So go ahead and download one of these two things and install them. Make sure you install them before continuing on with this tutorial. So now that you've got that, we're going to need to download one more thing. And this is the catch, Minecraft 1.5.1. So there are two links I'm going to provide in the description. This is the official Minecraft 1.5.1, and this is just a mirror that I found on the internet on like a Minecraft website. They are both Minecraft 1.5.1. This is the official Mojang one. So I'm going to have this link in the description on top. Make sure you open that. And when you click on it, it's going to immediately download Minecraft 1.5.1 and I'm going to discard it because I've already downloaded it and just ignore that it's not going to harm your computer It's just saying that because it's a jar file and it's executable So one of these two links will work for you Hopefully this one just get this one first if that one's down try the mirror link now You've got everything downloaded So this is what it should look like when you've got all the things one two three four five mods installed Wow, it's gonna be a while So now I'm gonna put them on my desktop just for ease of use so you guys can easily see it and here are all the mods. So we're going to go in this order, Minecraft.jar, and then Minecraft Forge, and yeah, it's getting confusing. Look at it. This is a lot of mods. And then Minecraft Player API, and geez louise, look at all this. This is the order we're going into. So Minecraft.jar, Minecraft Forge, Minecraft Player API, Minecraft Render Player API, and then the actual Aether 2 mod. Wow, that is a lot. This is a big mod, and it's going to require big modding. So <laughs> let's do it. So go ahead and open up your explore window and just ignore my clover icon it's because i've got clover i like tabs on my windows explorer it's pretty nice and now what we're going to need to do is go to the actual minecraft folder and to do this go down here to your start button and you can do many of things to get here i'm going to show you which i think is the easiest way so click run if you don't have that run button here because i know you have to add that manually what you can do is you can type in run and it will open it up, or you can press Windows key and R, and that will open up the run command. Then type in percent app data percent. You should you should know this. This is the standard procedure for modding Minecraft. Type that in, press OK. And you may be asking, hey, Minitop, why aren't you doing it where you just type in percent app data percent there? Well, 
every time you want to get to your Minecraft folder, you have to retype in percent app data percent. But if you do the runway, you can just go Command R or not Command, it's Windows key R, and then you, you see it's saved in here, so you don't have to keep retyping it. That's the way I like to do it. So now you should see your dot Minecraft, and make sure you have it sorted by name. So you know it would it, it could be at the bottom. Just make sure you click this, and it will be at the top. Then go ahead and copy this to your desktop. So we'll go copy and paste. And the reason I do this is because there are a lot of mishaps that can happen while installing mods. And I don't want to see in the comments, oh my goodness, you broke Minecraft. I want to make sure that if you guys screw up, and I know this is a lot of things to do, so, you know, error is possible here. So then all you have to do is delete this and put this, you know, folder back in and bam, you're off and running again with the version you had of Minecraft before you installed any mods. So now go in here to your Minecraft and hopefully you don't have any mods installed. Make sure you don't have like a mods folder in here and you should see your bin folder. Go ahead and open this up and you should see minecraft.jar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with the 1.5.1.jar. So go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and copy and paste the 1.5.1.jar inside here. And this will get rid of any mods that you have installed. So just be, be aware of that you're only gonna have the Aether mod at this point. So now we've installed Minecraft 1.5.1 and we're going to open up Minecraft just to see if we've installed it correctly. I don't want to install all of the mods at once and then see if it runs because if it crashes here, we know, okay, the problem is this jar file and maybe you installed it wrong or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Minecraft and if it asks you to update, make sure you say no. You want to be on this version, not the new version. Otherwise, that would just counteract what we just did. So make sure you don't update if it asks you, and we're going to go ahead and meet you at the main menu. All right, guys, we have successfully launched Minecraft 1.5.1, and yeah, just ignore the super lag in the background. It's Camtasia. It just eats your graphics power. So there's Minecraft 1.5.1. We have successfully done it. We can now quit out of this game, and we will go ahead and continue on. So we've already installed Minecraft.jar. All right, guys, so the next step is installing Minecraft Forge Universal, and this is pretty straightforward. So you're going to need to open up your Minecraft.jar with a WinRAR or 7-Zip. So just go ahead and right click on this and open with and then choose WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip. Or if those don't show up here, you can choose Default Program. And if it doesn't show up here, which it should, you can choose Browse. And then you can go into your program files, go all the way down to WinRAR, and then you should see WinRAR.exe. And you can open it up that way. So I'm just going to go and open it up because I have WinRAR as my default. Then you should see meta inf and in here it's, it should be at the very top it puts winrar puts folders first which i really like so grab the meta inf and just press the delete key and delete that not the delete key but you know what i mean guys delete it because it will it will conflict with the mods and it won't let you run it and blah 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 lots of gross stuff so now open this up and you should open up minecraft forge universal just make sure you're not make sure you're not installing another one first you want to do it in the correct order and then go in here and do file select all or you can do control a but i like to do it this way so you can see what i'm doing then just drag it into the minecraft.jar and don't put it in a folder guys make sure this right here make sure this ends in minecraft.jar you don't want to have it saying like slash you know whatever don't have it like slash bin or other stuff make sure it's minecraft.jar this will prevent you from putting it in a folder and screwing up so then leave all this stuff the same all, you shouldn't change this just press ok and it will install all of the things into your minecraft.jar. Should take a few seconds, and there you go. And look, MetaInf is back. That's because it was included in Minecraft Forge. And I don't know why all this. I don't even. I don't even know what the MetaInf does. Just ignore it. You can close this stuff down, and voila. Now we have installed Minecraft Forge Universal. We'll put that there. And because I like to rule out any errors, we're going to launch Minecraft, and we're going to see if it runs. And if it doesn't run, then you know that you've installed Minecraft Forge wrong because we know it can't be Minecraft.jar because we've already tested that. So this is the way I like to do my mod installations so you know if you screw up, you know what the problem is and you can get it on with. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft, guys. All right, so I pressed log in and it says FML is updating your Minecraft environment and just ignore this. This shouldn't be a big black screen. That's because I have a just a Minecraft borderless launcher so I can record in a borderless mode. And here we go, we got the Mojang screen popping up and it looks like we have successfully installed Minecraft Forge on top of the Minecraft 1.5.1.jar. So that's really good. You can see we've got Minecraft 1.5.1, Minecraft Forge, 
this version, yada yada. Quit that out because we don't need that. So we've got these two mods installed. Next, we're going to install the player API. So open that up, put this over here in this corner, and we're going to go back into the Minecraft.jar. And this process is very similar to what we just did. So all you have to do is go in here, file, select all, or you could really, you could just do that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and then just drag in all the files. Make sure you're not putting them in a folder. Put them in this blank white space. There you go. Make sure it's Minecraft.jar again. Press OK. Boom, you're done with that one. Now, because these two mods are very similar, I'm just going to go ahead and do these two. But if you want to be super safe, you can launch Minecraft now, see if it launches, then come back and do this part, which I'm about to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up this version, Minecraft Render Player, MCA API, and we're going to go ahead and select all these files, drag them in here, and press OK. Make sure all this stuff is the same, and press OK. All of that stuff is installed. And one last thing we have to do is install the Aether mod too, and that's pretty simple. So before we do that, we're going to launch Minecraft one more time just to make sure that all of these mods are installed. And so we know that if we install this one and it crashes, we know it's the actual Aether 2 mod. So not any of these. So we're going to launch this and we're going to see if it runs just to make sure that we're doing this correctly. All right, dudes, we are now at the Mojang screen. For the last time, we're going to see before the Aether mod is installed. And looks like we have done it successfully. We've installed all of the other mods right before we install the actual Aether 2 mod. So there we go. We've got this installed. And we're going to go ahead and quit out of this. And now we have one last mod to install. We're going to go back here. And you should now see a mods folder inside your Minecraft.jar. So make sure you go to your Minecraft.jar. You go Windows key R, enter, dot Minecraft. And there you go. You should see a mods folder. The reason the mods folder is there. Why are you flashing? Stop flashing. Stop it. Good. The reason the mods folder is there is because we opened up Minecraft. You should have opened up Minecraft and tested if these all work. So now all you have to do, this is really simple, guys. Go into the mods folder. Nope. Put it in there. That That's it, really. That, that's actually it. <laughs> Make sure this is the zip. Don't put in file. Don't put in the files like this. You don't want to do that. You want the actual, you know, zip format in there. And that's it. The Aether 2 is installed. So I'm going to go in and launch Minecraft for the last time. And I will show you that it actually does work. All right, guys. So I just logged in to Minecraft. And guess what I see? Choose a main menu. We have Minecraft 1.5.1, Aether 2, left Minecraft. I have no idea what that means. And Aether 1. So let's go ahead and choose the Aether 2 mod and launch to the main menu. And... Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. We've got it installed. I don't want to show you that it worked because, like, seriously, you, you should know that it works. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world here, and I'll show you that if the game actually runs. But I'm not going to go into the Aether and show you because, I mean, that is that main menu not enough proof for you? Yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and load into a world here. And, oh, this is just my texture pack. Just ignore that. Here, I'll, I'll prove it to you. you. You want proof? I will give you proof! There you go. Back to game. And this is the Aether 2 mod installed. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to go the Aether for you guys. You should, you should totally know that it works because of that main menu there. So that's it, guys. There's nothing fancy going on here. And you've got the Aether 2 mod installed for yourself. So go ahead and leave in the description or the comments, not in the description. It's under the description where the like button is. You should totally click that, by the way, if this, this installation works for you. Go ahead and leave in the comments if this worked. And I hope I helped you out. Leave any questions down there and I'll try to get to you. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic day and Aether it up. I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out as always. Bye.